It's me, Avril Lavigne. Hey, hey, you. I don't like your girlfriend. Come hang with me and my band for seven insane days in Mexico. Oh, I can go on those are You'll get a backstage pass to my concert. That's awesome. See, this is a good show for me. Walk the red carpet with me at the MTV Latin Music Awards. And meet some of my biggest fans in Mexico. I can't believe it that my dream is come true right now here. Oh, and, oh, and don't forget to try a bit of the Mexican cuisine. <laughs> this is Avril in Mexico. Round of tequila for everybody. I just came to Mexico for a week. The reason why I was coming was to perform at the MTV Latin Award Show. And then we just threw in three shows. We made it a trip um, of about seven days. Are they ready? Oh God, those are pinatas? We're on our way to rehearsals, and then red carpet, and then it's the show. Um, so what's the deal? Do we have a vehicle behind us with arm guards? Yes. <laughs> I don't know how to say it nicely. Um, <laughs> when you come to Mexico, sometimes you gotta have a little more security, so we have some arm guards. I'm armed with liquid <laughs> eyeliner. <laughs> my whole career, this is the first time I've ever brought my mom on the road, this, this record. Yeah, because I was finally like, you know, I'm older now, I'm like, want to hang out, and before I think I was just so happy to get away from home, <laughs> I was like, see ya! Now it's like... Avril's growing up. No duh. Yeah, it's not as glamorous as you think it would be. Just waiting around when you do TV, it's hurry wait. And everyone's always like, okay, you're on in 10. And then and then it's like another 15. And then it's so it's, it's, it's a lot, always a lot of waiting around. I have to learn Spanish because I'm presenting tonight um, with Jared Leto. Nosotros elegimos a México. And then he says something. And then it's estos son la nominados. So that's not too bad. Did, did that make any sense? Does anyone I, I heard nominee. Nominados. Maybe here are the nominees. Mm -hmm. Maybe here are the nominees. Nosotros elegimos a Mexico. I'm not wearing a bra, and we had like a bra built in, and it just didn't look right. So I don't want to have like one of those moments where like my boob shows. So we're gonna wear these little stars. I'm like, hey, if I'm gonna wear this. I'm at least wearing stars on my nipples, so if anything happens, plus we're like using sticky tape, just like putting sticky tape all over so it like stays, and then if it does fall, I have stars. See, you know? And I'll be wearing underwear. <laughs> Are you proud of me, Mom? Yes. <laughs> what, don't you always wear underwear? Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of hard, you know, the whole world's talking about my daughter. And you hear some, some bad stuff too, a lot of gossip sometimes, and you just kind of have to let it go. Yeah, it's kind of something you gotta get used to. I don't like you know, high heels with dresses. Well, you look nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. But I don't want to look nice. I want, I want it to be like, if I'm gonna wear a dress, I want it to be like me. See, do you guys think that looks way better? Way better. I'm ready. 
carpets are, they can be overwhelming because a lot of people like screaming your name and there's a lot going on. That's why I'm wearing these. Because you know what? <laughs> I don't want to stand in stilettos. Are you Thank kidding you. me? And the red carpet was really crazy just because the fans were like chanting my name. I know, people here are really passionate. <laughs> Definitely felt the love here in Mexico. <laughs> Kind of a chaotic night. Um, I performed and then I presented an award. Nosotros elegimos en Mexico. I thought that was perfect. Avril Lavigne. I won an award, which ended up being really cool. Thank you to all my fans here in Mexico. I love you. Coming up on Avril in Mexico. The photographers here are aggressive and they scream at you. After about a minute that I'm on there, I'm like, my mouth hurts and this feels weird. <laughs> photographers here are aggressive and they scream at you. And then like a lot of times it's like you just go stand on this little stage and then you walk off, but like they want you to be on there for like three minutes and after about a minute that I'm on there, I'm like, okay, my mouth hurts and this feels weird. <laughs> so I look, look over and I make sure that I'm allowed to come off and someone's like, yes, you can come off. Thank you, it's good to be here. Hola. I'm just like a quiet person. I'm not one of those people who is like really talkative and stuff. I'm like, I don't know. I'm a singer. I've seen that your look has changed from what you did before and now it's more of a grown-up look. And I thought it was a little bit more commercial and a little bit more uh, glamorous maybe. I feel like I still sort of have the same style. It's just, I'm a girl, you know? I love makeup. Clothing, you know, I love fashion, shoes, bags, all that stuff. It's fun. What do you think about uh, Mexican fans? I think they're awesome, and I'm really excited because definitely one of the best crowds. Thank you. Every night before I have a concert, there's always a meet and greet. Hi. I always choose to do it before the show. It's usually between 30 to 60 people that I take photos with and sign autographs. Hi. Here, you know what? The camera's right over here. Meet you. Enjoy the show. Thank you. I am making some last minute adjustments to her outfit. I have to make sure that everything is tacked on properly so it doesn't fall during the show. I'm not officially on tour, but I am playing a full-on concert tonight. Which is, it's actually a little challenging. I have to go over my set list and think about the show and stuff to get like back into it. Because when you don't sing for a month, like a full set, and then you have to sing for 75 minutes straight, it's easy to lo like lose your voice. So I'll probably ask my guitar player, Jim, to do warm ups. Me, 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 me. Let's do that one again. Me, 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 me. is we put like like things I like to say on stage. Just like, hello, and like thank you, and how are you? Are you having fun? Gracias. Saw loss, mare whore. Is that you say? Mare whore? Yeah, but it's 
It's amazing what adrenaline can do to your body. Like the second I get on, if I'm not feeling good or if I have a headache or if like I'm really tired or if I'm really jet lagged or if I'm just under the weather, like the second I get up on stage, I'm like, this is what I love. This is why I'm here. This is why I'm doing all this traveling. I have a new band. My band is really good, like top-notch musicians, and I have dancers in my hair. I have like actual stage outfits, and the show is much more upbeat and energetic, and it's a, it's more fun. The show, there's always like kids around. There's usually a fence, and I go over there. And that's the exciting part. I, li I like that signing after, after the show. It's cool because it gives me a chance to meet my fans, and you know, for them to meet me. And it's a thing that we do every single concert. Coming up on Avril in Mexico. We found some interesting meal options. I see worms. You oh are my god, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, hey. oh, hey. oh, hey. oh, hey. oh hey. here in Mexico are crazy and like a lot of times they do crazy things like they run after your car and they're freaking out. Oh my god, who's this running up on the car? Holy Christ. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, she's got her feet running over. That's why we locked the doors. <laughs> It's a funny thing because you, you get on stage and then everyone is just like goes into this like crazy mode where it's like, you know, show times. I need to make my eyes darker next time. Guys might not understand what the hell I'm talking about, but when you gotta like walk out on stage and you can't have, you gotta look cute, right? That is awesome! Yeah, see this is a good show for me. The show in Monterey was really cool. It was about a 7,000 people maybe. Like that was me having the time of my life. And I look over and my mom's there, I'm like, sweet, I'm so glad my mom can see this right now. Great show. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's still hard to believe. All those people out there. So excited over my daughter. A Mexico lo llevo en la piel. Oh, Mexico because I didn't eat I, yeah, last night after the show. I, I only ate once yesterday. I had chips and guacamole yesterday and that's it. kids out here. I know, I was trying to take a half an hour nap and I that, all I could hear is kids screaming. chanting. I'm taking my band out to dinner since we're in Mexico for a nice Mexican dinner. I don't see my band that much, but every once in a while I like to, you know, call them up and plan out a nice dinner. We all need tequila for everybody. <laughs> Salud. 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 All right. We found some interesting meal options. I see worms. I see worms. Oh my. Ooh, worms. Grasshoppers. Ants, eggs. 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 Can I get a couple centipedes while we're at it? <laughs> I will eggs. pay you a hundred dollars if you eat ant eggs, grasshoppers, and worms, and you eat it all. Oh, you mean tell you what? Like the whole plate? I don't need the money. <laughs> I'll just do it just for the sake of doing it. You can't just eat one. You have to do like... Two, I will like eat some of eggs. all of them. I'll as long as, <laughs> as long as I'm not required. You know, as long just as I'm not required to amount. eat... Okay. <gasps> oh, it's a bug! Check it out! You oh are my god, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Just in case I lose the bet, can I get a bucket? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, yeah.
<laughs> so wait a minute, what was that, the Antex? Yeah! And I wasn't nearby. thinking they would be that big. I thought they'd be like little tiny eggs. But I won't put any more. Ew! These are grasshoppers! And when I'm still crawling, look at that. Watch out! Shut up! Oh. Tell you what, I, I, I've made this bet now, and now it's time to own up to it. No face. Actually, it's very good. It is? Hey, wait, I hate to say that. I have to do it. I know. Come here. I'm way too competitive to not. <laughs> oh my god. I'm scared. 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 I'm I will be your friend forever. That's what it's gonna take? <laughs> and I will do it with you. All right, let's do it. A friendship worm. Okay, friendship worm. Okay, I'm gonna try my tequila and then I'm gonna do one. All right, all right. There you go. Oh, tomorrow you oh. oh. Cheers. You won, cheers. What are you? Ah, We are. Yeah, she did it. She awesome. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. You got it. Go, go, go. Go, just don't think, just, just go. Yes, you did it. It was really fun. It's good to just have a relaxing evening after you, you guys have been working so hard together. To Maggie Cohen Worm. <laughs> Coming up on Avril in Mexico. When I pulled into the record signing, all the fans were outside. I stepped out and waved, and then boom, the barricade came open. My lighting is a certain way. <laughs> Do you want me to order now? Hello? <laughs> Phones don't work. Hi, I speak English. Can I order some food? Yes, of course. And what would you like to order? We would like guacamole and chips and um, cheese quesadillas. Is that okay? Yeah, thanks. You can have a great day. Bye. What do you do? You come back to a hotel room and uh, there's really not that much to do. Fall Out Boy in Mexico? No hablo bien el español, pero viva México! I'm just about to do an in-store signing for 250 fans. When I pulled into the record signing, all the fans were outside. I stepped out and waved, and then boom, the barricade came open. I just jumped out of the car and went out there and waved. I went like the kids start jumping and charging at me. I just totally screamed out. <laughs> Coolest thing ever to have people screaming for me <laughs> or whatever they're doing. You just have to be careful. <laughs> Some people attack. I love you. That was my first signing in Mexico. They were all so sweet. She's the best something. They all express themselves and they get to like say something to me maybe that they've wanted to say for a long time. Wow. I love this, so I hope that I get it. Thank you. I love it when I get scrapbooks. It took me five years. Wow. I really, really hope you like it. Thank you so much. I love this kind of stuff. <gasps> this is so cool. I have my club. The name of the club is Let's Rock, a real. My pleasure to be here with you. Thank you very much. Tomorrow I see you. Awesome. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you. you so much. I can't believe it that my dream is come true right now here. Oh. My face hurts from smiling. I swear to God. Ow. Oh. When I 
do stuff like that where I get to meet fans, I feel like so awesome. I feel like on top of the world. It feels good to know that my music has reached people all over the world. The more I've been doing this, the more I learn and the more I get involved. I mean, I like what I do and I love music. I love writing songs. I like to do a lot. I like to take things to the next level. I'm really excited to work really hard and put this tour together for 2008. It's going to be a rock show, but it's going to be much bigger than anything I've ever done before. I get to go home tomorrow and get some rest and uh, take care of my voice. <laughs> the shows were great. The fans were amazing. Thank you. Mwah. It's really cool. And my fans are awesome. Because of my fans, I get to do this. So thank you all, everyone who supports my music. Adios, amigos. <laughs> Todos mis mariachis los dedico a ti, mi amor.